it's Lauren here. Welcome back for another audition for the Anti-Valentine's Day Playlist 2022. It has been a minute since I've done some Stone Sour. I don't even remember the last one I did, but I think it was when, like, Baby Cory. I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a really early demo, I think. I'm already sold by the title, so I have a good feeling about this. And also the fact that it's Cory Freakin' Taylor. It really has an unfair advantage there. But I'm going to stay completely unbiased. Just because it's Corey freaking Taylor doesn't mean it's automatically going in the playlist. So just keep that in mind. I'm playing fair here. For these songs for the playlist, I'm looking especially at lyrics. That's the most important part. If you're going to make it in the playlist, you got to have the lyrics. You guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Face. You won't admit it, but it's true. I'm happy without you. I turn away and let your drama pull you in. You always said I was a fool, but something carried through. I now want to see your face again. What's in? <laughs> it's in. No, I, I'll listen to the whole thing before I decide, but uh. I have very strong feelings that this is going to make it. I just, I had to pause just to remind you how much I love Corey Freakin' Taylor. Sometimes I forget how much. I mean, I gotta say, as much as I love Corey Freakin' Taylor and all of his voices, his just normal, natural singing voice, not even melodic Corey, but just like whatever this is, Corey, Stone Sour Corey, I just love... I mean, it's not talking Corey. Nothing is talking Corey, but I just, I just love Corey Taylor. He turns me into a blubbering idiot and I, it's annoying. I've accepted this part of myself. I'm putting it out for all to see, but I'm loving the lyrics so far. I have a good feeling about this still. I'm not sure how to say this, like how to word this. I like the song I do. However, it has a very, I don't know if radio is the word for it or like overproduced. It sounds very, do you know what I'm trying to say? There's just something about it. I don't know if it's how it's mixed. Maybe you can help me out in the comments what I'm trying to say here. I still like it though. I'm loving the lyrics, by the way. Like, they're the best. They're the best. All right, let me go back just a little bit. Some people suffer for no reason, but they're the ones to blame. So walk away and let it go and save yourself. Before you tell yourself a lie, just tell that one goodbye. How much more can you take before you fucking die?
Phantom, maybe? That didn't even sound like him at the end. The last note or so. Interesting. Okay, my cat's here. She heard it was Corey freaking Taylor time and she's like, count me in. No, it's it's called It's Getting Close to Her Dinner Time and She's Ready Now. <laughs> the lyrics of this song, love, absolutely love. They're everything that I want in a song for the playlist. The song itself is not really, I mean, it's fine. It's Corey freaking Taylor, but it just sounds very processed. Maybe that's the word that I'm looking for, processed. I don't know. There's something about it that's not making me like jump up and down about it. I still enjoyed it. It's still going on the playlist just for the lyrics alone. Sorry for the tale. She doesn't care. It's all about her right now. So I'm going to listen to it again. I'll feed her in the meantime, and I will come back for some final words. So I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. Mocha has been fed. She's good now. Here's what I've decided about the song. I love the lyrics. For that reason, it's going on the playlist because that's the most important criteria when it comes to the playlist. And I do love the sound of it. I don't like the no. If I was the producer or whatever, I would, I would take those out and be like, eh. Not that I would want to disagree with Corey freaking Taylor ever, because you just don't do that. So if it was his idea, then definitely keep them in. But if it was anyone else's idea, I would probably suggest, fellas, maybe we could take those out. Another one for the playlist. So thank you for suggesting this one. There will definitely be more Stone Sour once I am finished with this anti-love playlist. I need Corey freaking Taylor in my life and not just Slipknot Corey. I need, I need all the Corey. If you have any suggestions for playlist possibilities, let me know in the comment section. It's not too late. I'm doing these all of February. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day today and maybe I'll see you for another one. Yeah, I'm just going to back it up a little bit. I could just start it over, but I'll just back it up. Should I just start it over? It's 35 seconds. I'm starting it over. I won't pause it this time. I'm not going to start it over. The lyrics of this song, Mocha's Coming. Hello. Uh, the lyrics of this song. There she is. Um, <laughs> the lyrics of this song. I guess they have the people. No.